Good morning, this is a Shaman Oracle reading for this new week. Today is Monday and I'm reading for Aries, Taurus, Gemini and Cancer. And this reading here is for Gemini. Welcome Gemini. The reading starts with the Universe has your back card. Out for you came I surrender to a power greater than me. And the next card is from the Kremolkins Curious Cat's Tarot. And out for you came Two of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles card is dedicated to a cat named Luna. The swift and agile cat caught not one mouse but two however bringing them both home at the same time would be a bit of a challenge so instead of feeling frustrated the cat luna decided to lean into her situation and play with her meals until they were too weak to resist when the Two of Pentacles appears in a reading, your situation may require you to be flexible and to take a different approach. You may have many projects already in the works or you may have committed yourself to take on a couple of extra chores and adding another thing into the mix may have you questioning how much more you can tolerate. However, the Two of Pentacles serves as a reminder that you have within you the ability to manage with grace and confidence. So look for ways to maintain your commitments without going insane. Can you find a way to make a task more fun? Perhaps think about what is demanded of you. Can you ease a new project into your schedule without causing a great deal of disruption? Is there help available that you may have overlooked? The Two of Pentacles is a signal that you have the power, the grace, the skills to handle more than you give yourself credit for. Positive energy attributes to the card, they are juggling tasks, staying upbeat and confident while picking up, picking up more work. And negative energy attributes might be that you are taking on too many tasks and so you might get overworked. The forest, no, the sacred forest oracle card for you came out and is called Willow Spirit. And the Willow Spirit is about flexibility. Here it continues to the Two of Pentacles. Stay flex flexible. At the edge of the forest pond grows a large willow tree. The branches, they dip lightly into the waters and as the wind rises, her elegant boughs, they sway to and fro like a mystic dancer. Her dangling leaves, they whisper across the water in a lazy design. This card encourages you to be flexible in your life and be willing to bend and sometimes even to yield. There is power in doing this as a choice rather than as an overtaking of your will. Even though there are times to stand strong, sometimes the greater valor 
is to go around a situation rather than face it head on. By being adaptable, you can succeed, whereas someone who is more rigid may not. In rough winds, a strong oak tree might break, while the willow tree can bend without even so much as snapping. Adjust to life rather than fight it and surrender to the process. As the willow can weather storms, so can you too weather any life challenges. There are many legends regarding the willow tree. It often has associations with the gods and goddesses such as Hectate, Artemis and Mercury. And in ancient Athens, it was a practice of the priests of Asclepius to place willow branches in the temples in the belief that it would draw mystical healing. The willow was also sacred to poets for the sound of the wind through the willow was sought to influence poetic expression. And in Celtic traditions, and in Celtic traditions, the willow has always been known as the tree of dreaming, of inspiration, and of enchantment. And yeah, willow trees are beautiful, I think, as well. The spirit of the willow says to you, be flexible in your life, be willing to bend rather than to break, and be open to change and you will flourish in wondrous ways. The Shaman's Dream Oracle card that came out is Crown Games. And a crown is for a king, right? Or a queen. So it's about leadership, responsibility, accountability and the right use of power. There is a game of power played by all people, whether they are conscious of it or not, and it concerns who has it and who doesn't. How to get more of it and not to lose that which you have already. And how to wield it wisely and not to get drunk with it and cause harm. These are the matters you need to ponder now that you find yourself in the crown game as well. You want to be on top. You want to be the best, the most effective and also the most beloved. You may discover that your deep desire to help others is disguising the underpinnings of this complex game. Power and all it entails can be both dangerous and productive, destructive and redemptive. Which will it be for you? Can you forgive without condoning and keep your dignity when challenged? Will you be accountable, amenable to change or making amends? Can you let go of your need to rescue others, lead with humility while letting others discover their own way home? Now you are learning that empowerment comes with a price and a sacrifice for sovereignty. This is a time to pick your battles and use your strategy and temper your reactions. You have the power to make a beautiful difference on behalf of others. Can you see power as a currency that you must spend wisely? True power is stewarded wisely for it is given from the divine 
not from the ego. In all your relations, the greatest beauty is when power is shared. So if you are in a higher position, it's even more important to be kind and respectful. Ask for guidance. It will come when you choose compassion over your own goals and your own desires. When you stop caring about who wears the crown, true success and influence appear for you. And the last card is the mystical shaman oracle cards and out for you came the rainbow. And the rainbow symbolizes the seven steps of a true spiritual path which manifests as the colors of the seven chakras. In the Himalayas, the rainbow body is seen as a full realization of our essence. The rainbow also represents the bridge between this physical and the spiritual worlds. And at the end of our lives, we can journey across the rainbow bridge to the highest heavenly realms. When the rainbow appears, it is an affirmation that all is well and that you are in the right relationship with spirit. There is an invitation to the card. The rainbow tells you that the end of the storm is near. Persevere and remember that it is darkest just before the dawn. So do not give up hope. Things are about to take a positive turn. Listen for the morning rooster that announces the coming of the dawn even while the night is still darkest. But do not claim victory yet or let your guard down fully. There is medicine aspect to the card. Do not get caught up in pursuits of illusions of the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Find the treasure now in the moment by coming into right relationship with those around you. All your gifts are at hand, so obvious you may have missed it. So be true with your intentions and do not be led astray by daydreams. So Gemini, that was your reading. Thank you very much for listening. I wish you a wonderful day today. I wish you a joyous and happy week ahead. Take care and goodbye.